Look at Garfield in the back, by the way. Oh, it's this way. Um, I think I should be live. I think I should be live. Oh, I am. Um, hi, Milo. Jesus, you know when I'm streaming, don't you? That's when you just come in. Come up and say hi then. Come up and say hi. Hello. 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 Um, hello everyone. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Um, I'm a little bit pissed off. Um, yes, baby. Um, but I wanted to come on here. Um, I tried going live on Twitch again, and for some reason it wasn't letting me. Um, I don't know, something with the servers or something. Um, hold on. I hear that Cyrus has something, so I'm going to quickly take that off him. Okay, wait. Milo, baby, where'd you go? Where'd he go? Oh, he's down here. Come here, sweetums. Come here, sweetums. Why are you running? Come here. Sorry about that. Had to be a parent for a second. Um, Cyrus was playing with a deodorant cap, um, and I don't want him choking on anything, so I had to take it off him. Um, so yeah, I was going to go live on Twitch, but um, there has been a lot of issues for some reason. Um, so I still wanted to come on, but I'll just come on here instead. But anyway, make sure to go follow me on Twitch if you want. Um, it'll be linked down below. Um, I go live there, like, all the time. Um, anyway... I've been sent this video and I wasn't going to go live tonight. Um, and the reason I wasn't going to go live tonight is because um, I just got off like a two hour call with Swoop and it was a lot. Um, I mean, Swoop was, was so kind on the call and we had a really productive call and but it was a lot. It was like two hours. Um, so I wasn't going to go live tonight. I just downloaded Sims on my laptop and I was going to be playing the Sims um, and then my Twitter has been flooded with people sending me a video from Papa Gut, and I started watching it, and within the first couple minutes, I already was like, um, I was like, if I don't watch this with people, <laughs> like, um, thank you so much, um, Rebecca, and thank you so much, Monkey Wrench, um, so, yeah, I was just gonna play The Sims and have, like, a chill night, because it's been kind of you know, a lot today anyway with Swip. Everything went great. Um, I love Swip so much and, you know, they're going to do such a good video um, or a good job with the video. I mean, the questions they were asking were, you know. But anyway, I got I got sent this. Did I see the new horse pack with for The Sims? See, this is what I was going to spend my night doing. You know what I mean? Um, so anyway, Papa Got posted this video and it's called The Colleen Ballinger Situation Has Gotten Out of Hand. And so I started watching it, and within the first couple minutes, he's already saying that people actually don't care about me. He's saying that um, it's not grooming, which is the title of this stream. I've literally quoted Papa Gut that it's not grooming. So I wanted to talk about it. I wanted to go through the video. I only got a couple minutes in before I stopped and was like, I'm going to watch this on stream. Um, so we're going to go through this and talk. Again, this has been sent to me a lot. Um... And I saw that Ryan uh, Beard, is it? Ryan Baird, Beard, um, reacted to this and people have been sending me that as well. And then I saw Papa Got responded to that. And I'm like, I don't know. It's just, we're going to watch this. But the clips that I've seen of it that have been sent to me are him saying like, no, Adam's taking her out of context and blah, 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 blah. So I thought what better person to watch it, you know, than me and if he needs contact oh and what i will say as well is papa got reached out to me let me find it i didn't get back to him though but it was basically i wonder if it was on instagram or on twitter or where would it have been on papa got he reached out to me somewhere because i remember it okay it must not have been so it must have been instagram then why did my voice just crack there papa got was it on instagram um papa got messaged me on the 11th of june and said um, 
Hey, Adam, I hope you're doing well. I noticed you popped into my chat while I was doing a complete overview of the situation between you and Colleen. I have a differing opinion on the aspects of the situation, and I was wondering if you'd be dying to have a chat about it. Either way, I appreciated the honesty and vulnerability you showed in an expressive message. And I meant to get back to that, and I never did, so I apologize to him for that. But whenever I read that, I was a little bit like... Okay, I'm, you know, I've been doing interviews and I've been doing, you know, going on people's podcasts and stuff. And even if they have a difference of opinion of me or even if they, you know, don't believe some aspects of it or whatever, you know, I, they, they never come to me and are like, let's do a podcast. And I actually disagree with the points or, you know, I have a difference of opinion. Sorry, let me go back to this. I have a difference of opinion. Like no one ever phrases it like that. And if you do, then, you know, hit me with the question in the moment, but to phrase it as like, you know, I have a difference of opinion. Let's come on and debate it or let's come on and talk about it. I don't want to come on and debate it. I don't want to come on and talk. Like, you know, what I mean? like I dealt with this shit for three years and I really don't care if you have a, you know, a, a difference of opinion. I don't feel the need to have to come on your channel and debate you to make you believe me. I couldn't, you know, give two shits if you believe me or not. And Papa Gut is actually someone that, like, I've enjoyed his content in the past. He had drama with Deaf Noodles. I was completely on his side. Um, but basically, like, to phrase the message of I have a difference of opinion, do you want to come on and talk about it? No, because I have nothing to, I have nothing to prove. I have nothing to, you know what I mean? There is no, I really don't care if you have a difference of opinion. I'm not going to come on and, you know, try cite my side of the story or debate it with you in any capacity because there's no need to. And that's not me being like any difference of opinion. There's difference of opinions in what's going on right now, and that's absolutely fine. But to message me who the story's about and be like, you know, I have a difference of opinion. Let's come on and talk about it. I feel is a little bit fucking weird. Sorry. Like, why, why would I do that? I'm sorry. It has nothing to do with me not appreciating criticism. It has nothing to do. But for you to message me in that way is weird. Because I've done interviews this week where they've been like, hey, can you fill in this bit? Or I'm confused at this bit and I have no problem addressing it. But if you're going to come to me as you already have a difference of opinion, why would I come on and debate you? So we're going to we're going to watch this. But I do know that he does say that it wasn't grooming and that things were taken out of context. So we are going to watch it and see what he has to say. I feel like there's no one better to watch it than me. Um, and also... Okay, we'll just get into it, all right? So let's play the video. Hello. So uh, it's been three days since I posted my very comprehensive breakdown on this Adam McIntyre and Colleen Ballinger situation. Who the fuck's Adam McIntyre? I did a huge deep dive um, and encompasses uh, Adam's first video from three years ago. Colleen's response was a response to that video. Then the Cody- Oh, sorry, it's not even on the screen. Sorry, fucking hell. Let me just load something up here. Okay. Yo, Adam's reaction to the Cody video, and then another. This video. is true. He did do like a really long stream where he watched everything, and I'm really appreciative of that. I'm appreciative of anyone who wants to, you know look into this, who wants to, you know, get the full context or whatever. I appreciate that. And I appreciate that he's done this. So I'm willing to hear out this video because he's done all the research. Seriously, like he's done the research. He's done the work. He's watched the, you know, all your long videos. He's watched Cody's video. He's watched Colleen's video. So I'm interested to hear what he has to say. I'm aware that he's not on, you know, whatever, but like, I appreciate at a bare minimum that he did all that. So now I'm willing to, you know, hear his opinion, hear whatever, because he has put in the work to, you know, hear all this topic. You know what I mean? So let's hear it. Papa Gut is a commentary channel. Yo, from Adam. I've also since watched a few different videos after this to kind of add to the collection of my thoughts and my perspectives on this. And considering this is six hours long, I figured maybe I'll give you guys a little bit of a breakdown about the way that I feel, because to be honest with you, I think that this is a very large example of a narrative that's gone out of control. Mm -hmm. This is a perfect example of a narrative that's gotten out of control. I don't get that. I don't get that. 
a narrative that's gotten out of control. Okay. Okay, let me hear why it's gotten out of control. I want you to understand that I do feel for Adam. Thank you. Um, the biggest part that I feel for Adam, to be absolutely honest with you. Are we ready for the backhanded compliment? Is because if there is a trauma there, it's not necessarily because of Colleen, but really the backlash and the outfall or the out, you know what I'm saying. Who caused the backlash, Papa Gut? Who caused the backlash? I really feel bad for Adam, but it has nothing to do with Colleen. It has to do with the backlash. Who gave the backlash? Who gave the backlash? Colleen. Who was leaking my shit in DMs with Cody to help a video that was going to take me down? Colleen. Who was the one that was telling my friends to not watch the video and she would condense it for them? Colleen. Who caused the backlash? Colleen. What the hell? If there is trauma, it's from the backlash, not from Colleen. What the hell? So why would I come on and debate this person if they're already opening a minute into this video if there's trauma there? Okay, so say you don't believe that there's trauma there, right? Say you believe that this is all one big ploy. You're not putting any responsibility on Colleen? You're saying it has to do with the backlash? Who caused the backlash? But, um, but I'm glad, by the way, that Papa Gut's letting me know where the trauma's coming from. Finally, it's making sense now. Finally, you know, I'm in therapy now, but finally hearing it from Papa Gut. Yeah, it makes so much sense. The fallout is the word I was looking for. Anyway, <clears throat> for the past three years, to my understanding, the same people who are now uh, very much in defense of Adam and apologizing to him are the same ones that have bullied and harassed him. Uh, okay, and because of who? Because of who, Papa Gut? Because of who? And breaking him, broken him down mentally on behalf of Colleen, I guess, despite... On behalf of Colleen, I guess. Why is he already opening this video with excuses for her? Mm, I guess. And I know he's going to be reacting to this. What does he mean by that? So, Papa Gott, when you watch this on your YouTube channel, what the hell do you mean by that? They were doing it on behalf of her because she was instructing it behind the scenes. Despite the fact that I imagine she never told you guys to do this. I she was in the group chat of the weenies telling them that my video was all lies and they should believe her. She was also in Cody's DMs after Cody said that they were going to create a video that was going to paint me as the villain. That's when Colleen decided to send all of my screenshots with her. This video, like, I literally, this is not even about not being able to take criticism. I don't understand his point here. I literally do not understand his point here. Like, he's... Quite like Colleen, leaves a lot of fucking contacts out. For someone who did a six hour deep dive on this, what the fuck? I think it's Colleen's privilege that after they had their falling out, she got to disconnect from the situation and no longer was a part of her, at least up until now. But for Adam, this has become- So why was she talking in Johnny's DMs about me after the video and talking about me with Cody after the video as well? You clearly haven't looked into it. How have you done a six hour deep dive and you still don't know that? I'm a very personal thing that's been festering. And I think that that festering perspective has, if you look back, caused him to have a different perspective on the situation. The first time I saw it seemed- I'm glad he's letting me know that I have a different perspective now for that reason. To be a very um, grounded and accurate perspective of what was happening. And then you see the hate in him, which is totally human, later on. And like I said, I think that it's because of the irresponsibility of people in, I suppose, whatever community this is. I don't know if it's the beauty community or whatever. The, I don't know, the community that tracks how many times Trisha farted or something. I don't really know. <laughs> Fuck me. It seems that that's the content sphere. <laughs> um, that's the content sphere? How the fuck are you making this about the beauty guru community? Is that to bring this back to being about tea channels and commentary channels? What's that point for? I don't get it. I literally do not get it. What? You're bringing this back to Trisha Paytas? How many farts does she do that the beauty community, you know, find? Why would you bring it to that? Because you're trying to discredit the people that are calling her out. Seems to be them who are the ones that are the primary problem. And now... Uh, and, oh, the beauty gurus are the problem. Way, they get to distance themselves. An opportunistic way, he says, about this. From the harm that they caused as a collective and push everything onto Colleen. Because who were they... Has he done any research 
about the Weenies members speaking up this week in the Twitter spaces in their own videos talking about the fact that Colleen was behind the scenes telling them to act in a certain way? Do you realize that they were still really young when she was doing that in 2020 because I was young when I made my video? I don't get it. I don't get it. And we have now gotten to a point where we are leveraging false oh. grooming accusations. False, grim me... false grooming accusations is what this is. Oh my goodness. False grooming accusations is what this is. Okay. Clear. I don't think Adam is lying, but I... We're talking about false grooming accusations. Just to clarify, I don't think Adam's lying. I also don't think that this is accurate. It's... I don't think Adam's lying, but this isn't accurate. So what is it? Seriously, what is it? What is it? So we have Johnny speaking up, Ella speaking up, Becky speaking up, Becky from the Weenies, Ramsey from the Weenies, Alex from the Weenies. Um, who else from the Weenies? Like, well, a lot of them aren't publicly going on the record, but literally, like, what the hell? There's so many people that are backing this up. Have you looked into this at all? Have you looked into this at all? Adam's not lying, but don't worry, he's not telling the truth. It's hard to you know, look at 100,000 people and say, you guys caused this harm. And it's easier to say, well, it must be Colleen's fault because they were acting on her behalf, even though she wasn't explicit about doing it. And I don't think that she wanted people to relentlessly harass Adam. So why was she in the weenies group chat telling them that my video was bullshit then? Why was she saying that I was running hate campaigns and hate videos for her and Corey was doing the same? Why was she telling Johnny behind the scenes that my video was a takedown and we need to plan something? He's flat out lying here. I don't get it. But it's, it's all false, remember? We're going to get into the specifics. Okay, I'm glad. Um, to be clear, and this is a real question, I do question all the people who are saying that they're on Adam's side. Um, and I'm hoping that at least one of them recommended that he see some kind of mental health counselor. Because if you truly think that you were groomed, that's the... Adam, if you truly think you were groomed, that's what you do. Number one, I am in therapy now. And number two, go fuck yourself, Papa God. Way to go. Um, and that's one of the reasons why... So basically, if you've ever been groomed, if you've ever been groomed, never speak up about it. Handle it in private. Go seek therapy and let them go away with it. Maybe I'm just wrong in this assertion, but I don't think anybody yeah. necessarily cares about Adam, unfortunately. I think that... <laughs> so one of them recommended that he sees some kind of mental health counselor. Because if you truly think that you were groomed, that's the way to go. Um, and that's one of the reasons why, and maybe I'm just wrong in this assertion, but I don't think anybody necessarily cares about Adam. Nice. 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 Unfortunately, I think that this is really more of just... What is it? Go on, since just, you know. Just um, morally grandstanding from everybody else um, and really weaponizing Adam's very deep, intimate, uh, hurt, full feeling, hurt feelings. And I, th I mean that in, in, a, in a profound way and not a way to minimize this because from what not I... Not a way to minimize this? Not a way to minimize this? What have you spent the first three minutes, four minutes of this video doing? That people don't care about me. I should just be handling this in therapy. I'm not lying, but I'm not telling the truth. What the hell? I've seen from him. I haven't, I've seen a very genuine person expressing a very genuine thing. Um, but I, it's not grooming. Okay, first of all, he's a genuine guy and everything I've seen has been genuine. But he just spent the three minutes saying that it was not true and taken out of context. Very profound. Yeah, very profound. So he just says that this isn't Grimmings, which is the title of this stream. Um, wait. And I have to stand firm on that because I think oh, that standing we firm. are eroding the seriousness of that accusation. It is a serious accusation, and that's why we're fucking talking about it. I want to first start off with uh, saying that, like, obviously, defy... Oh, okay. He's going to defy it. define it for us. Perfect. Defining grooming. Okay. There are multiple ways to define this. Okay. The first way. And the first way to define grooming is grooming is when someone builds a relationship, trust, and emotional connection with a child or young person so they can manipulate, exploit, or abuse them. 
Go on, you tell me what the definition of grooming is, because there it is, Papa Gut. Grooming is when someone builds a relationship, trust, and emotional connection with a child or young person so they can manipulate, exploit, and abuse them. But go on, tell me what you think grooming is. Go on. Way ...is the way that we typically talk about this topic on the internet. Come on, tell us the definition. You just said you were going to tell us the definition. I am pissed off. I know he's going to watch this and be like, he's so angry, you know, look, he has so much hate in him. If you're making bullshit things like this and then asking me to come on and debate you... Of course I'm gonna be pissed off. Which is sexual grooming. It is an intention- Okay, he's now just said that grooming is- it, it wasn't sexual grooming, and this is literally what all these weirdos who are trying to defend her say. If you literally type in grooming, by the way, Papa Got, if you had done the bare minimum fucking research, the top suggestion is when it builds a relationship, trust, an emotional connection with a child, so they can manipulate and exploit them. But I thought you did so much research, Papa Got methodical process of manipulating and set, setting somebody up a child up for sexual exploitation okay where'd you get that where'd you get that one from no you didn't you're you cherry picked a definition of grooming so that it wouldn't apply to me so you could make this 37 minute long video on top of the six hours you've already done saying that you don't believe me Now, a lot of people will say, well, that's not the type of grooming it is. You don't understand grooming. And I do take offense to that because I do understand it. I understand it deeply. Uh, and I and I, I do. No, you don't. Clearly, you don't. I don't care what you're going to say next. Clearly, you don't. Clearly, you do not. Clearly, you do not. I really try to educate myself on these topics. Hi. You don't even need to educate yourself. All you need to do is a fucking Google search and look at the first response. I know people think it's incredibly cringe, but I have mental health conversations on a daily basis. Um, and I do my best to educate myself on these topics. They're clearly not working. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that just because my wife is a social worker, that means that I have an educated perspective on this from a- Yeah, we know you don't because you haven't even looked up the just clear definition. A um, college perspective, but- Oh, the education's coming up. Mental health conversations, and these are the topics that Ooh. they include. And I just want to be clear, that doesn't make me instantly right. But I would say that, especially considering the content that I've made historically, I try to be very delicate about these situations. Clearly not. You've opened this with saying that I'm not telling the truth. And I try to be very strong in my opinions, whether they are received publicly or not. Um, and I think okay. that that's one of the aspects of this as well, because there's a lot of content creators who are not going to disagree. There are many people who do disagree that this is grooming. Yeah, the person you're talking about. The person you're talking about does. Is that not anything for your fucking little educational journey you're doing? You and your wife? Is that not something to take into consideration? If your wife's a social worker, wouldn't she be talking to the person that the story is? I struggle to believe that she would be like, what the fuck? But they simply won't speak up because, again, nobody takes this community particularly seriously. And I don't mean- He's talking about the beauty community again. They're diminishing it. This is what these men do. They talk about the tea community and the drama community, even though commentary community is the exact same. They all just have fucking beards. Be rude about this. I'm just- This, is, be this is a really fucking weird look for him. This is a really weird look to open the video with, I'm so educated, I have a social worker wife, and then this is what you're doing? about the optics and what's surrounding this situation. <clears throat> anyway, to the sexual grooming part, people will say that it's- Who said it was sexual grooming? You! You! Because you wanted that to fit your narrative. They, they will say, well, it's not sexual grooming, but then they will bring up the inappropriate sexual aspects to this topic, and so- Okay. Yeah. She groomed me. She also made many sexual weird comments to me. No one said it was sexual grooming. You're saying that because you want to be so different with this video. That's not saying everyone's on my side. There's a lot of videos that have been made this week criticizing me. A lot of tweets criticizing me. A lot of Reddit threads criticizing me. But not one person has went about it the way that you're going about it now. You've opened this video with being, nobody cares about Adam. Adam should just be handling this in therapy. Like... That's what your social worker wife will be telling people? Oh yeah, just let the person who did this to you, just let them run. They don't, no criticisms. I struggle to believe that. Let's address that first so that we can say- Who said sexual grooming? No one but you. For a fact, 
that it wasn't any form of sexual grooming. No one said it, it was. First and foremost, we have the inappropriate Q&A questions that had, uh, Colleen. Does he realize that when people are saying grooming, they're talking about the years that I was with her? And then whenever they say the sexual things, they're saying a separate topic about her being weirdly sexual with me in DMs. The way the Weenie members have came forward this week on tweets saying that Colleen would always come into the grip chat and make it sexually weird with me, like the comments or something. That tweet, I, whatever the wording was of that, that I put in my recent video, the end of Colleen Ballinger's career one, the member Liv coming forward and being like, no, whenever Colleen would come in the grip chat, she'd always find a way to make it like, you know, like the sexual innuendos with Adam or whatever Liv said in that. No one said it was sexual grooming. We said it was grooming and then there were weird sexual things that happened. No one said it was sexual grooming. You're lying to fit your own narrative here. Recommended to Adam when he said in a group chat, hey, what should I ask for my Q&A? And she said, oh, uh, what about if you're a virgin? Or what about your favorite sex position? Very inappropriate, right? But what is what do you think that the desired outcome was? Well, the desired outcome certainly wasn't to do some kind of harm to Adam. I don't think that anybody, that has never been expressed in any capacity. In fact, the narrative seems to be that in public settings, Miranda wanted to have very little to do with Adam. And so I imagine if she was trying to set him up for some kind of sexual exploitation. Does he realize that the reason she had those conversations with me was to break down boundaries so that we had no boundaries, which also is grooming? Does he realize like this is a very like uneducated take? I'm so sorry. So hi, Papa Got, when you're watching this. This is a very uneducated take. And for you to use that your wife's a social worker is not working here. It's not working here. It really is not working here that she would have moved forward with that. And so it boils down to- So what do you think? You think Colleen, okay, so you're saying because Colleen was, had sexual innuendos with me and sexual jokes with me, you think that I was, that I thought that Colleen Ballinger wanted to fuck me whenever I went to the restaurant with her? Is that what you thought? Because now you're just saying stupid shit. Now you're just saying stupid shit. Do you realize that, that that's what he just said? But she never did anything like that in person to him. What? You're implying that we would have sex in person or something like that? Is that what the thing is? No, the full thing about grooming is breaking down those boundaries. But your wife's a social worker, so I'm sure you know that. But that's very inappropriate. And it is, thousand percent. That's no questioning. But that doesn't mean that the, in the intent of that was to try to take advantage of Adam sexually. A lingerie, this... Yeah, the aim was to take advantage of Adam. No one said it was to take advantage of Adam sexually. No, you're just saying shit. Same thing. Uh, obviously, she was on a live stream giving away stuff that she didn't want, and she sent it because she thought it was funny. It's not. Especially six years after that event happened, it's even less funny. And I want to be clear, because it wasn't funny then, but we have moved rapidly socially over the past six years. I would say more so than we have the 50 years before. Okay. We are in the age of the internet. Okay. The age of rapid communication, rapid information, and we are moving very quickly socially. And I'm not saying that that's a bad thing, but what I am saying is that we move fast. And so saying something was acceptable three years ago and now it's not, to a lot of people goes, well, that's silly. It was only three years. We've moved rapidly. We are in a massive exchange of information. Okay, and the conversation, by the way, about parasocial relationships is very new. Parasocial relationships have existed forever. We, I've, we've really only been talking about them for the past year or two, realistically speaking. I remember the first time that I engaged in parasocial relationship uh, discourse was two years ago. I'm just going to let him talk for a bit. Joe Barlosi made a video about it, and I found it interesting. That's it. It's oh my god, hi Aaron. Little amount of time. I'd love so you have to understand that this wasn't a widely understood and accepted topic that people were talking about. And so basically what he's saying here and the reason he's on Colleen's side is because when Colleen was acting inappropriately with me for all those years, the conversation of parasocial was not big. So there's no problem with it. Colleen didn't know that she was acting inappropriately because the internet hadn't told her is what he just said. And everybody that's in the comments and other content creators that are like, no, this is parasocial. You're right. But that wasn't a thing that we acknowledged back then. So what? You're saying that anyone that speaks out about things that have happened to them past the year of what? What are we going to say? 2020 doesn't matter because we weren't having those conversations socially. What a stupid argument. So basically, if...
to people watching, if you've ever had something done to you, ever been taken advantage of or whatever, and it happened before the year of 2020 when we really started having those conversations, nothing happened to you. And the other person didn't know. <laughs> that is a boundary that's very new. And the reason is because- That's a boundary that's really new? I thought your wife was a social worker. She would know that that's not a new thing. Massive micro celebrities. Historically, celebrities were found by some kind of a group or organization or management uh, firm. Oh my God, you know what this is? Trying to reach the fucking word kind to sign educated. Holy shit. It would operate everything for them. Their PR, what jobs they did, et cetera, et cetera. And yeah, I worked her PR as well. <laughs> Do you want to mention that? That doesn't exist. Now any Tom, Dick, or Sally can become a large content creator. That was a very boomer reference, huh? Uh, can become a large content creator with absolutely no guidance. And that doesn't exonerate them for any wrong, from any wrongdoing that they do. You just said it did. You just said it did. You've just went on a fucking three minute rant about parasocial relationships to, to diffuse what you're now going to talk about with the lingerie. And you're like, but that doesn't diffuse anything. You just said, you literally just said. But I think it's important to realize that these are human beings that don't have the same level of guidance that are micro celebrities. And we have to understand the intent. And my intent is to come into this completely unbiased. A lot of- Your intent is to come into this unbiased. You opened this video with saying that anyone that's supporting me doesn't care about me and that no one cares about me. And that actually, if I, if it was this caring about this conversation, I would be handling this in therapy. A lot of people are filtering uh, the behaviors of Colleen through her being guilty instantaneously, but that's not how these work. I understand it's a very human thing to do, but that's just not how it works. If you want to get to the root of what's going on and the root of the behavior, you have to be unbiased. You have to set aside your personal frustrations and your personal feelings on the topic, and you have to talk about it like that. If you aren't capable of doing that, that's to me. but you need to be more aware of your own personal biases you need to be more introspective you need to be able to operate and if you can't i understand but we need to be more introspective mm -hmm. that's what i'm gonna do and i'm sorry if i'm coming off as abrasive no you're coming across like a dick but again the topic of grooming it, and, and sexual assault these are topics that get me a little bit heated and so if i'm a little rude i'm sorry jesus if they got you so heated you would think you would do research on them i need to be antagonistic or abrasive but sometimes that's how it is <clears throat> so i'm sorry for that anyway getting back to the sexually inappropriate things i cannot believe this guy came into my dm so that i could come on and do a fucking interview with him go fuck yourself papa god right we said we had the q a questions we had the situation with the um the lingerie inappropriate very clear we had the situation with the lingerie <laughs> Sure, anything can look fine if you're gonna brush over the top of it. No intent to any to do any uh, grooming. Then we have the period question. Okay, so you've now just you spent four minutes on a deranged rant, repeating the same thing, and then went and then the lingerie thing, and the DMs. I don't understand how you can say that you've done so much research, but when most of this video so far has just been. Bullshit. Inappropriate again. Um, periods aren't sexual. You know, it's inappropriate to ask that question. It's a weird thing. She was probably writing a skit about periods because her Miranda character is annoying. Um, but again, what do you think she wanted to do with that information? That's very important. What did she do with that information? It's been years and we've seen nothing. Another thing people will talk about is that she has like a bit on stage where she has kids do stuff that would be considered inappropriate. Oh, great. Can't wait to hear his way out of this one. Again, that is inappropriate. Also, keep in mind that's... That oh, keep in mind. She's doing that in front of the parents, and the parents don't mind. That doesn't make it... A <laughs> there we go. There we go. It's everyone's fault but Colleen. It's everyone's fault but Colleen. There we go. There we go. It's everyone's fault but Colleen. Every single thing he said here has not been Colleen's fault down to her bringing children on stage, spreading their legs, looking up their dresses, making young boys put their hands in her trousers for a bit, all this. None of it is Colleen's fault. Of course it isn't, Papa God. Of course it isn't. Okay, but 
We have to understand, unless you think that every okay, single parent understand. of every single kid that likes Miranda is some kind of a groomer, then we would just understand that maybe those are inappropriate. So why are you focusing on the parents and not focusing about Colleen? So, so far in this video, you've focused on me and the parents, but you haven't focused on Colleen. Where did your wife get this degree? And I know you're going to come for me like that. Oh my God, don't bring my wife up. Blah, 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 blah. You're using this as a way to discredit this entire story. You used your wife as a way to discredit this entire story because you're so educated because of your wife being a social worker. So I am bringing it up because you just used it against me. Free dated jokes. Okay. It's all Keep jokes. Yeah. Mind. Keep that it in mind. Perception is important. Things change. Pedophile jokes were much more accepted. Not even five years ago. I think it's a good thing that they're not as much. But frankly, they used to be more accepted. It's a good thing that pedo jokes are not accepted. Yeah, what a great take. It shouldn't take you having to be like, I, I hope we can all be on the same page with that. Who's your audience if you have to be like, you know, I think we can all acknowledge that those jokes aren't fine. Who's your audience if you have to state that? And that's what it comes down to. Another inappropriate aspect. I believe, oh, there's one last thing. There are people talking about in these group chats that Colleen was part of or she had founded it. They were fan group chats. There were some... Um, fan, what is it? Fan fictions that were uh, well, some of which were written by Cody, um, where there was very explicit things going on. Some of which with minors. My understanding is that Miranda didn't write any of them. I'm not even sure if she read any of them. Um, uh, if she allowed that in her group chat, I think that's inappropriate, but to be absolutely frank, I cannot trust I wasn't in this group chat. perspective of anybody who's weighing in on this situation. Oh, there we go. There we go. He just said, I can't trust the public reaction response to anyone in this situation. So you're basically saying that you don't want to hear inf any information then that's not Colleen's. Is that what it is? You, j can we hear that again? Can we hear that again? is that Miranda didn't write any Can we of hear them. that again? I'm not even sure if she read any of them. Can we hear uh, this? If she allowed that in her group chat, Let's I think it's inappropriate. It. But to be absolutely frank, I cannot trust the public perspective of anybody who's weighing in on this situation. So why are you making a fucking video on it then? Why are you making a video on it? You just said that you, you can't trust anyone's perception of it. So why are you making a video? Jim because they've already decided to demonize Miranda. And so it's impossible when you have people who've already decided that this is grooming for you to give an accurate perspective because simply put, it wasn't. And you, I don't mean to- All that we're saying right now is not an accurate response, even though most, if not all of the things that are being said about Colleen right now are stemming from a video proof or a text message proof. But how would he know that if he's not believing any of the takes out there? Be rude, but I can't trust you're framing on the topic. And we can't trust yours. You're equally the public, so why would we trust yours? That's just how it is. Um, it, to you, maybe. If and when these group chats come out, I'm sure they're going to show inappropriate behavior. But again, do you think Miranda was trying to set children up for sexual exploitation? Oh my God! What the fuck is wrong with you? Sorry, I'm getting so pissed off. And if you, if Papa God wants to sit down and be like, look, he's so aggressive, work it out in therapy. I am, but I can also do this. You just said that the group chats are going to get even worse and that there's going to be more sexual things released. And you said, but, you know, that wasn't her intention. You know, she wasn't going to do anything sexual with them. What the fuck is wrong with you? You just said the group chats are going to continue coming out and they're going to get worse and there's going to be sexual things. But she didn't want to do anything sexual to them. I thought you understood what grooming was. I, I thought you understood what grooming was. He goes, I don't trust you and the public, but trust me. How the fuck can you say that? Adam, no, Papa Gut's an expert. Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot. You know, he's married to a fucking social worker. Or do you think that she's an idiot? Frankly, I think that she's probably just an idiot. Because she's, mm, she's silly. She's goofy. She was doing it as a joke. You literally are excusing everything. Everything. And past that, calling all of us the fucking, the ones that are taking it too far. You're sitting down in this video and saying that everything is being taken out of context or that everything was just a silly little joke from Colleen. Boo! Boo! Adam, stop. This is bad for your mental health. Let me tell you something. Whenever I leave this stream, I'm going to be playing Sims and enjoying my night. And I promise you that. And I was before this as well. This is why I'm coming on stream to talk about it.
However, if he's going to post a video and get 300 comments that are dunking on me as well because they're following his take that is literally not researched at all, I can respond to it. And also, sorry, this anger is very, very, very valid. But whenever I click off this stream, I'm going to put my feet up and I am playing The Sims. And that's what I've seen so far from everything else. So now we've gotten all the sexual stuff out of the way when it comes to... Now we've got all the sexual stuff out of the way. He didn't describe anything. He didn't talk about it. He excused it. Said it was all just silly little jokes between brands. Even though she was 33 and we were all 13. But, you know, it was just silly little jokes. Just silly little jokes. So these allocations of grooming. And so now we can talk about what grooming is fundamentally in a non-sexual capacity. I thought you just fucking did. I thought you just fucking did. Holy shit. To be absolutely honest with you, grooming in and of itself, the word isn't inherently bad. It's not inherently. It's the sound of the police. He's in there. He's in there. Go get him. There's Papa Gut. Go get him. Go get him. It's the sound of the police. <laughs> he goes, Grimming's actually kind of fun. What? Grimming's not actually that bad. <laughs> bad to engage in grooming, except for on the internet because we load it so much. What did he just say? Fundamentally in a non sexual capacity. To be absolutely honest with you, grooming in and of itself, the word isn't inherently bad. It's not inherently bad to engage in grooming. Uh, did he just say it's not inherently bad to, to, hold on. Fundamentally in a non-sexual capacity. To be absolutely honest with you, grooming in and of itself, the word, isn't inherently bad. It's not inherently bad to engage in grooming. Oh, uh, okay. I don't need to watch any more of this video. Self-report. Bonk. 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 What the hell? Okay, so basically, it doesn't matter what he says in this video now because he... Engaging in grooming actually isn't that bad. Not that bad. What is that noise? I don't know what that was. Oh, shit. Sorry, my sound effects are off. Engaging in grooming isn't bad, Papa God says. He goes, it's actually kind of fun. What the fuck? He just said... And listen, I don't care what the fuck he has to say next. Grooming is when someone builds a relationship, trust, and emotional connection with a child or young person so they can manipulate, exploit, and abuse them. I don't care what he says next. He just said this. After reading about me saying that I was groomed. Of grooming. And so now we can talk about what grooming is fundamentally in a non-sexual capacity. Bonk. To be absolutely honest with you, grooming in and of itself, the word isn't inherently bad. It's not inherently bad to engage in grooming, except for on the internet because we load it so much. When I was at- He the goes, it's only bad when you can get caught on the internet. What is that take? Little scout ceremony. Um, I was taught, uh, there were people who were presenting to the young men who have become- Oh God, he's gonna describe why it's good. Oh God, we're getting a lecture on why grooming is good. Okay. Uh, Eagle Scouts, which is a great honor. I am an Eagle Scout. And one of the speakers came up, uh, representative of, I believe it was the state or the county. And they said, congratulations to all the parents and the leadership for grooming their children to being an Eagle. When I heard that, my f first reaction was visceral. I was like, ew, gross. And I realized that's because that is a very online perspective when it comes to the diet, like the usage of that. Word. Okay, so let's go by your logic then. Your logic is grooming as in to make something happen, mold someone. You don't think that applies to Colleen? You don't think that applies to Colleen? Because now you're just lying. You're just lying now. So even if you think that that's what the word grooming means, you know, grooming them, making you into something, making you feel a certain way, leading you in a direction, right? That doesn't apply to Colleen. Bonk. 
word and the discourse around that word is very loaded and it's very sexually loaded and what people don't understand is when you say well it's non-sexual grooming you're still carrying that intense energy from sexual grooming into your other definition of it no you are point that i'm making here is what that is grooming it is an intentional process to set someone up to do a thing and what i don't quite he just said grooming is setting someone up intentionally to do a thing chat is that or is that not a perfect definition of what colleen ballinger does he just said grooming is is that or is that so i don't understand his point of this video now we're 13 minutes in and he's just like contradicting himself understand is what thing do you think that adam was groomed into doing do you think that adam <clears throat> me, 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 me. um searching the internet for information on her ex-husband and writing in forums on her behalf leaking information so she was the one that looked like the good guy and her fans got the brunt of it grooming me into believing that i was going to get a job at the end of it so i gave her ideas and edited her thumbnail and work for four years um the other one is basically bringing down my boundaries so that she could open up to me about anything breaking down my boundaries so i would tell her anything so basically i would never turn against her because she has information on me um taking me away from my family, telling me not to open up about the things that she was telling me because it was so private. So grooming me away from my family so my trust relied on her. Do, like, how have you watched six hours of videos? Oh my God, Xylee's in here. How have you watched six fucking hours and you're trying to say, no one, no one likes Adam. This is not grooming. And then also go on to say, grooming isn't a bad thing. You just said grooming isn't a bad thing unless it's online. Has he done any fuck? What did you do for those six hours? That was methodically groomed into hearing divorce uh, stories and or making. So what is he going to list them off and be like, no, it doesn't apply content for him. That doesn't really make sense to me because that isn't grooming. I don't understand the narrative my best of my understanding what because, frankly it's not very precise or accurate it's a bit all over the place is that and your video isn't and your video isn't my videos all over the place you have debunked and rebunked and bonk 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 this entire video my video wasn't accurate my video wasn't accurate how the fuck was my video not accurate, but this is bonk. That Colleen set Adam up for some form of grooming in order to exploit- Colleen Ballinger made me feel a certain way so she could get me to do anything for what? 2014, or sorry, 2016, 17, 18, 19, 20 for five fucking years. Bonk. This video makes no sense. Content Self -report. is out of him, as well as to be a friend in some capacity, I guess. To be honest with you, um, I, there, it hasn't been well-defined. That's the best thing that I could come up with, that she... Oh my fucking God. Groomed him it's for content. I don't even know how to respond to that. Then why have you made a fucking video then? <laughs> what is... So I want to ask a question. What do you think should happen to Colleen based... Apology? An apology? Stop doing this to fans? Stop trying to use fans for your own gain? Is this not we're on the same page? What a stupid video this is. On that, do you think because the way that you guys are talking Bonk. about it, whether you intend it or not, is that she needs to lose her children and go to jail? Who said that? Did you say that, Papa God? Is that what you said to try justify and get her out of this? Is that what you you're saying? I haven't seen a single fucking person say that. And if they have, you should have heard what they said about me for three years because of her. You're just like, <laughs> no one was saying that. And let me guess, if someone said it, they just created a Twitter profile and they follow five people and they're Colleen fans trying to make the, the thing that's happening right now look bad. You're lying here. You're lying here. Holy shit, worms for brains. You think Colleen is an unfit mother because of this. That is the proportionality. That would be the proportional 
punishment to the way that you are talking about this topic is that 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 i'm talking about this topic how do you think my mother feels with how colleen treated her son how do you think my parents felt how do you think my parents felt knowing that i was seeing trisha paytas's fucking Poonani, well, it was her nipples, but, you know, her stuff whenever I was 14. Hearing about Colleen's sex life whenever I was 14. Hearing about Colleen's divorce whenever I was 14. Colleen asking me about man I was seeing at 15. How do you think my parents felt? You're just making shit up. I'm so heated and I'm so angry. This video is a bunch of bullshit. And yes, I am angry. And yes, I'm allowed to be angry. This video, this video comes across like he has his own skeletons that he's like jumping ahead and being like, no, this is what happens to get when you're like you're grimming, like people are lying and this is what, this is what this video comes across as. It comes across like you're trying to justify something and get ahead of something. I'm not accusing you of anything, but this is a really weird look. That is what that is. I think when have I ever said Colleen Ballinger needs to go to jail? When have I said Colleen Ballinger needs to lose her children? You're just flat out lying here. You're lying. It is a very disproportionate thing. I'm so pissed thing. off. I think she deserves criticism, but like most things on the internet, this criticism is never proportionate. It is massively disproportionate. And in an online space that doesn't understand how to define grooming, where we're canceling- Do ye? I thought your wife was a social worker. 19 year olds first talking to 17 year olds where everything is some form of of, of sexual you're comparing a 33 year old woman talking about sex to a 14 year old to a 19 year old talking to a fucking 18 17 year old bonk what is wrong with you it's all i don't think that the online discourse is prepared to talk about this in the right way that's not to say that are you there aren't people who are groomed on the internet because it certainly does happen. But every time this story or stories like this gets pushed as grooming, people sit on the sidelines and go, huh, and they care less about actual grooming victims. That's a fact. Oh, but I'm sure you care about them. I'm sure you care about grooming victims. I'm sure you care about grooming victims. Uh-huh. That is a fact. I want to remind you, Adams, I don't think is pushing any false allegation, but he happens to be wrong about this. Oh my god! What does that mean? What does that mean? How can I defend myself in a video where you're saying that Adam's not lying but he's pushing a wrong fucking thing? What does that mean? What does that sentence mean? What does that mean? I don't get it. Or stories like this gets pushed as grooming. People what sit does that mean? on the sidelines and go, What does that sentence uh, mean? they care less about actual grooming victims. That's a fact. That is a fact. I want to remind you, Adam's, I don't think, is pushing any false allegation but he happens to be wrong about this. What does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> you just, what does that mean? What does, literally, what does that mean? Both cannot be true. Both cannot be true. What does that mean? I literally do not know what that means. Sorry, what does this sentence mean? Actual grooming victims. That's a fact. That is a fact. I want to remind you, Adams, I don't think, is pushing any false allegation, but he happens to be wrong about this. I literally, I'm not even kidding. I don't know what that means. I do not know what that means. Adam is not lying, but he's pushing a, what does that mean? When it comes to himself. I know that sounds horrible, but again. It doesn't I sound horrible. It sounds stupid. It does not make sense. It does not sound, it does not make sense. I think that we're in a very new internet age and the feelings, which quite possibly are traumatic feelings, aren't because of Colleen. Once again, it's because of the backlash over the past three years. Of Who gave me the backlash for the three years? Her strategic apology video in which she tried to take down me and my mother and behind the scenes was doing the same thing. Oh my God, this video is a bunch of bullshit. Him constantly getting shit on. Anyway. Um, this Despresso said, Ryan Beard said um, to not call it grooming because of LGBT people being called grooming. It's absurd. I don't know what you mean by that. What, that he's not saying it's grooming because it's not a gay man or something? I don't know what you mean by that. Regardless of what you want to define as grooming, we need to understand this. There is a difference. What do we need to understand? Fuck me between being a person that is manipulative 
and creating a relationship through manipulation to extort something. You just described grooming. There's a difference between grooming and manipulation. Manipulation is whenever you manipulate to get something out of a situation of someone, you know, gaining a trust. You just described grooming. Does he realize how stupid he sounds here? He just described grooming. He literally presented it as this is not grooming and then described grooming. I think that it's not unreasonable to say that in this inappropriate relationship that Colleen has with Adam, she may manipulate him in some capacity. There's a possibility there, though I think- A that possibility? That that's overblown. Oh, However, sorry, I'm overblowing it. There we go. Sorry, I'm overblowing it. However, that is different from explicitly creating a relationship with the intention to manipulate. That's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. She did both of those things. Right. I'm sure all of you have had shitty manipulative friends before, but it doesn't mean they created their relationship to manipulate you. They just happen to be people that are manipulative. Now, again, maybe that's Colleen. Possible. Maybe? Maybe. No, sorry. It's Adam, of course. It's Adam, of course. It wouldn't be Colleen. It's Adam, of course. Yeah, I don't know you're that right. I've necessarily seen that. but that is You're right. Yeah, it's not Colleen. It's me. You're right. You're right, Papa God. You're right. It was me, not Colleen. You're right. Mm -hmm. You're right. It's ex very explicitly different from actively you're right. grooming someone in some capacity. Absolutely. What Absolutely. What you're claiming is that she only, she just saw Adam and decided to target this young man, this kid at the time, because she wanted to take advantage of him from the start when it's more likely that she just had an interaction with her fans because she liked being a micro celebrity. She liked that people liked her. What is this video? What is this video? So Colleen didn't grim. She actually just wanted to be our friends because she loved being a celebrity. Hello? Hello? This is one of the worst videos I've ever seen in my entire life. She liked the positive attention, and that is inappropriate because of a parasocial relationship, specifically with young fans. Doesn't make her some kind of a manipulative groomer. But you just said that she- Oh my god, Papa God, do you realize how stupid you sound? You just said- You literally just said that Colleen's not a groomer, she's manipulative, but now you just said that she wasn't being manipulative. You opened this by saying that she's not a groomer, she's being manipulative, and then you ended it with, but she's not being manipulative. Can you write a fucking script and stick to it? Can you write a fucking script and stick to it? Fuck me. Hold on. At all. Adam has been very upfront and honest about everything. He gives us the facts of every single situation as you look at the way that he describes each and every point where he says that he was just manipulated. In fact, his claim is that Colleen never had any intention of following through on any promise that she's ever made. And then as he's recounting the story, each and every single time he recounts it, he gives a valid reason as to why Colleen doesn't follow through on a perceived promise. And she didn't do that because she was dangling things over me so I would do things for her. I don't understand your point here. So, here's the first thing I want to establish. If you rewatch the first video that Adam makes, which I think is the best video, the most honest interpretation of what's going on. The most honest interpretation? What about the video in which I show everything? Screenshot by screenshot, scroll by scroll. How the fuck do you think my 2020 video is the entire story? No, it's not. I didn't want the full story to be out in 2020 because I didn't want people to know that me and Colleen were talking in inappropriate ways. What about the video I posted that is two hours long because it had to be because I scrolled through every single message? What the fuck? You should, you, you come to understand a few things. What do we understand? First of which is that Adam loves Colleen a lot. And I think that he still does. He loved her in the past as a com- I love Colleen Ballinger. When I think of Colleen Ballinger, my heart fills with love. You're absolutely correct, Papa God. I love her. I love her so much, Papa God. You're absolutely correct. So now he's or di diminishing all of this to I still love Colleen. Right. So let me ask you this. Anyone who ever speaks out against uh, people that have done things wrong, any victims that will ever speak out against their abusers, they love them too? Is this, is this general? 
Is this general? So any victim is in love still to this day with their abuser. Is that right? Is that why they speak out? Because they're so in love with their abuser? You're fucking disgusting. And shame on you and shame on your fucking wife for allowing you to post content like this whenever her job is being a social worker. Shame on fucking you. Shame on you. Your wife's a social worker and you just said that victims speaking out against their abuser is because they still love them? Content creator, and I think that he still does. Oh, fuck I yourself. Seen, uh, I saw a specific tweet on social media, on his Twitter, that is like, I will stop talking about this topic, and I'm paraphrasing here, but he expresses that he will stop talking about this topic if Colleen privately and publicly apologizes. What is wrong with that? What is wrong with that? So he's using it against me that I said that I would stop talking about this topic if Colleen privately apologized to me and my mother, and publicly. But that's wrong? Didn't you just say, what's the end goal here? You want her children taken off her? You want her in prison? But now you're using it against me that I'm giving her a way out? So what's the narrative? Yet again, another contradiction of your video where you said, what's the end goal? To get rid of her kids, put her in jail? That's wrong. And now you're saying an end goal I gave her and you're using it against me because I'm in love with her? So what's, literally, what's your, proof, read your videos. That by itself to a lot of people probably doesn't mean a lot. To me, what it does possibly it mean? signals that he still has a level of, and I'm going to go as far as to say, a possible obsession with Colleen where it's more- Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. This is the angriest I've been in covering any of this. And I'm allowed to be angry. And in any comments that'll be like, Adam, you're li really letting this get to you. Fuck you, Papa Gut. Fuck you. Fuck you. You have just said that any victims that'll ever speak out against their abuser is because they're in love with them and they're obsessed with them. Go fuck yourself, Papa Gut. And also, go fuck your social uh, worker wife as well. And I am bringing her into it because at the start of this video, you weaponize that you have that to be against me. Go fuck you and go fuck her. And if this is the take that you have, I feel bad for any victims that speak to her. How fucking dare you? How fucking dare you? or about some form of validation from her rather than it is about any kind of an apology or anything like that. Some kind of a recognition that doesn't- I want recognition from her? What do you want me to do? You want me to go on fucking stage with her? What do you want me to do? Go fuck yourself, Papa Gut. You mean that Adam's a bad person? Uh, yeah, I didn't even bring this up. It was Cody Tyler that brought it up and brought up the DMs. I didn't bring this up. Focus on Cody then. Because this- relationship started when basically at least by the way i know all my comments are going to be like adam's losing it adam's on hinge and stuff can i please clarify again whenever i'm done this stream i'm going to enjoy my night with some sims but whenever i'm watching this fucking disgusting mess of a video and disgusting mess talk about this and speak about using against me that he has this social worker wife or whatever i feel bad for the people that go to her if this is any any like, showcase on how you fucking talk to people. You just said that the victims who speak up against their abusers are obsessed with them. You said at the start of the video that what do we want from this? There's no ending. She's getting rid of her kids. You want the, the kids to, you want her kids to be stolen from her. Sorry, I'm out of focus. You want her kids to be stolen. You want her to be put in jail. And now you're using against me that I said, you're using against me that I gave her a, an out, which was just an apology to me and my mom privately and publicly? What the fuck is wrong with you? Thank you, Jessica. Relationship. This is why I wanted to watch this on stream. Because there's no way I was going to watch this on my own. And, like, have no way to, like, say my opinion on this. Go fuck yourself, Papa Gut, and fuck this video. Her started at age 11. When he started to be a huge fan of her. 11 years old, and by 13 and 14, he started making Twitter fan pages. Instagram fan pages. By 14, they also became more personally friends. However, if you listen to Adam talk... He says, I thought we were really good friends, but at least or he says he expresses we were really good friends, or at least I thought. And part of me does question how big of friends they were, though. Well, good thing you weren't fucking there. Of course, with her venting about her divorce or being catty about it, it seems like they had a bit more of a friendship. However, it's possible that he invested a lot of energy into it, which makes sense. I think that the way that I see Adam talk about this, it seems like there is a mythology to her, 
to Colleen from Adam's perspective. He seems to look at her as some kind of a deity. And this is where these parasocial type relationships get into, where we realize that you shouldn't really be friends with underage fans. I thought you said we weren't going to talk about this as a parasocial thing because the new concept. Another contradiction from you. Especially. Though I think it can be appropriate to be friends with fans of age, of course. Oh! Is that you also saying that grooming isn't inherently bad unless it's online, Papa Gut? But it can be inappropriate because I think young people can have a very hard time differentiating. So then 30-year-olds should not be befriending them. You're proving your point here, dipshit. Celebrities from actual people. Because celebrities are actual people. Uh, but I think that there can be an unhealthy relationship that's developed there. Another thing that I think is very important to acknowledge is that Adam comments that the parents thought that this was a good thing when they first started talking. Without the other stuff. Hold on, sorry. Okay, Joey Grisafa's editor has just reached out to me. Hi Adam, I edit Joey's videos and help manage his channel. I was shocked to see you got a copyright claim, so we looked into it, and it didn't come from him. We also alerted Studio 71, who manages his content, in case they were responsible. I know you worked it out with Team YouTube, but let me know if it affects anything. I'm not involved with anyone personally, but I just want to make sure I was at least not working for someone who was trying to silence you. Hopefully that gives you a little peace of mind. I appreciate that. That's a nice message. However, why is Joey Grisafa, like, not acknowledging it? It did come from him and his team. Well, it obviously didn't come from his editor, but... It came from Studio 71, which is his management. But that was a nice message, though. I appreciate that. It's like someone on his team being like, please don't hit us. Anyway. It changes, and we'll get to that. But fundamentally speaking... How is there still, like, 10 minutes left of this video? Adam's parents, who seem to be good parents, were happy, not just okay with, but happy from what he expresses about their friendship. Oh, so now you're bringing my parents into this? You're bringing my parents into this? Papa God, let me, let me tell you something. Do you wanna, if you did your research, you would also know that we had created private Twitter accounts with Colleen and the Weenies, which had like 20 followers in them that Colleen and us would only talk on so that our parents would not know that we were talking to Colleen as deeply as what we were. And then we would delete the profiles and log on to our main one. My parents kept up to date with my Cookie Ballinger Twitter, which she would tweet me publicly on, and then our private Twitters we would log in and out of without our parents knowing because Colleen had this really close-knit connection with us, but if you'd done the bare minimum fucking research, you would have known that all of the weenies have spoken up about the fact that those accounts existed and those were the ones that Colleen talked to us on because they were private and away from our parents. So if you did the bare minimum fucking research, I don't know how you watched six hours of this and didn't even know that, you would know that that was one of Colleen's little methods and she had one of those accounts too. But clearly, you did no fucking research. But go on, blame my parents. Blame my parents for something they had no awareness of. And don't blame the person who was close in age to them treating me like this. Freak. Stating that they thought it was really nice that a big content creator would be active with their friend, with their fans. Now, this doesn't make that? what Colleen did appropriate, but what it shows us is that the mentality from people, adults, at that time, six years ago, was that this type of behavior was acceptable. Do I think it is? No, I don't. But you just made an entire video justifying it. But we're also six years later, again, after a massive amount of social change has, has happened. So, so, so. And so if we're going to fault Colleen for being some kind of a groomer. Go on, say it. Specifically because say it. she started talking to an say underage it. fan. Say it. Non-sexually. Say it. That means that you would have to think that Adam's parents were okay with grooming. Quit. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself, Papa Gut. Go fuck yourself. You've done everything in this video, but put any ounce of blame on Colleen. Go fuck yourself. Horrible little bitter old man. Which they're very clearly not. That's the only point, is that fundamentally, my, I have an issue with this relationship, neither the parent- Do you? Do you? Because you've made an entire video about how it's not even wrong. 
parents nor Colleen did. Go fuck yourself for bringing my parents up. Go fuck yourself. But yet, apparently, people aren't allowed to talk about Colleen's kids. Don't talk about my parents' kids, then. And the societal atmosphere at the time probably wasn't too much against it either because we weren't very educated about power. So we, you can just say you weren't. Relationships. As time went on. So this entire video has been blaming children and blaming parents and not blaming Colleen Ballinger. Obviously, things got a little bit bizarre. But to recap. Things got a little bit bizarre. Let's kind of finish Let's just get through the fallout first, and then we'll go back to the other situations. When we hit the fallout of this particular topic, it seems to be that Adam was promised an internship and possibly an actual job if things went really well. Adam's perspective now is that he was never actually ever going to get a full job, and he believes that he was just being manipulated for content. Frankly, while it is possible, based on what we know, it's very unlikely. Are you going to believe anything I say in this video? Are you going to believe anything I say in this video? Keep in mind that Papa Gut sent me this message. On the 11th of June. Why the fuck would I want to come on and debate you whenever you talk about me and my parents like this? You are fucking deranged. Wildly unlikely, in fact. And the reason for this is very clear. Their relationship ending has an excuse to it. And there's a reason to it. Um, and it is that they had a situation where Adam had posted a tweet on Miranda's account, right? Because he reached out to her or she reached out to him in some capacity. I've been doing it for four years, by the way, but I'm sure you don't remember that. Vibe the Miranda Sings account. And Adam had made some kind of a queer baiting tweet or whatever. Yeah, literally, Colleen admitted in her apology video he watched that she does hire fans. So why is he saying that I was wrong for thinking that? She even clarifies that she does hire fans. Her merch designer right now is a fan. Ever. Doesn't really matter because it's not Adam's fault. It's Miranda's fault. She co-signed it and allowed it to go through. But that's what happened. Then it seemed like... Miranda was venting to him after she got a lot of backlash, and it does seem that she suggested that it was his fault in some capacity by saying, I would have never tweeted something like this. Now, I don't know if she intentionally tried to shame him or make him feel- Oh my fucking god. So there he is addressing that she did something wrong and then goes, but I don't know if that was her intention. I don't know if that was her intention. So are we going to hear anything in this video where you're going to put any responsibility on her? Or are you going to continue this entire video with being like, but I don't know if that was her intention. Feel bad. It's quite possible that she was just venting in in some kind of a weird manic or hysterical state. because she. And there should be no repercussions for that. But if I had done that, you would have done added an extra 10 minutes onto this video. He seems to be a very sensitive person. Uh... <laughs> Adam seems to be a very sensitive person. Go fuck yourself yet again. So how is it when Colleen's upset that, you know, she's just, you know, really in a shocked state. But when Adam's upset, he's just a really emotional, you know, person and sensitive person. But when Colleen lashes out, you know, she just had a lot going on. But with me, he's just a really sensitive person. Um, and I say that in a bad way um, that can't handle her own shit publicly. However, that doesn't show th this. And then they had it fall out of their relationship. To be absolutely honest with you, it seemed like if you look at the, the, the DMs, Adam was- But I thought you said there was no relationship. You said there was no relationship like 20 minutes ago. The one who ended the relationship, or at least that's what was most possibly conferred from that. Think about it. He reached out and he said something Think about along it. the lines of, I logged out of all your accounts. Don't worry, you'll get through this. That was the I'm paraphrasing, but basically what he said, and it's very possible that that signals to Miranda that he's quitting. That's a very normal... He so do we want to talk about then how her and Corey were talking in group chats that I was creating hate campaigns and hate pages for them that I then had to reach out again? But I'm sure, you know, well, I'm sure she was just, you know, I'm sure she was just really upset that day or something. Human thing. Either way, regardless of how much of an asshole Miranda is in this situation... Regardless of how much of an asshole she is, holy fucking shit, every single thing he's finding an excuse for, every single thing... Every single thing is immediately followed up with a reason. Every single thing. This entire video is projecting for something.
Let me tell you something. No normal person goes this hard, even if they wouldn't have believed me. There's something deeper here. It was very clear to me that things ended because of that, not because she had no intention of ever actually paying him to revive the Miranda Sings. She ghosted me after that. She ghosted me after that. She ghosted me after that. Have you done any research? Have you done any research? And that's very important because that intentionality, while it's being told to us is some form of manipulation, it's very clear that things just fell apart, right? Now, of course, we get to the Cody video, and of course, we're going to get to some of the other specifics, don't worry. But the Cody video comes out where Cody basically co-ops all of Adam's frustrations and angers on the topic. And she is self-admittedly a cloud chaser who wants to be like Trisha Paytas and says provocative things for attention. And that's the video she made. When she comes out, she expresses some kind of... Hi, uh... Nabber. Hi, I would like to confirm I am working on a two to three hour video. Hi, how are you doing? Thanks for popping in. It's a lot. And I apologize, it's a lot. Um, but I hope you're doing well. I hope Kanji's good. Um, perspective that we all, for some reason, the public narrative still- What's the public embraces, narrative? Despite the fact that we don't embrace Cody, that Miranda was a massively manipulative person that reached out to Cody. But you said earlier that she was a manipulative person. So what is your angle here? You said she was, you said she wasn't, you said she was, you said she wasn't. To have her make a hit piece on Adam to destroy his credibility. But if you actually read what's being- If you actually read the messages, Cody messaged Colleen and said, you need to address this. Colleen said, no, out of respect for his parents. Cody then says, but I'm going to make a video and I'm going to paint him as a villain. I'm going to paint him as a liar. You're going to look really, really, really good. And you know what Colleen decides to do? Send all of her text messages with me, co-signing this video from Cody. And after Cody posts the video, Colleen sends a little congratulations. That was a good video. But um, let's hear what, let's hear, let's hear what actually happened. So you just heard what didn't happen. Let's hear what actually happened. Being said, this is how the timeline goes. Okay, right? let's hear In it. In the fallout between Adam and Colleen, Adam's mother uh, chews her out, says, don't talk about my kid anymore right and so after that adam decides you're missing that she was talking shit about me with Corey in grip chats but again that wouldn't fit your narrative and i'm sure you would have to come up with another excuse for her so to make a video talking about his relationship with colleen which i think is perfectly within his wheelhouse but you're missing the reason i made the video because her and Corey were saying that i was trying to destroy her behind the scenes why are you missing so much context here why are you missing so much context here? You can't say that, you know, my narrative, you know, there's so many plot holes, it doesn't make sense when you're not telling it properly. House, which puts Miranda, and this is the most logical understanding of the situation, the most unbiased perspective. Unbiased? You've not, you've not given her a single ounce of criticism in this video without following it up with blah, 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 blah. Causes Miranda to put to be put in. Uh, Blizzy said, this is a really weird video. He's all over the place. And I really feel like any sensible person can see what actually happened. To a weird spot where she doesn't feel like she can respond. And also because it would have disrespect the wishes of Adam's mother. So why did Colleen, the one time Colleen didn't respond to me was whenever my mother messaged her, but she had no problem messaging a 14 year old. Answer that, Papa got. But again, you don't think grooming's wrong. So, you know, it's not inherently bad to quote you. That is the most unbiased perspective. You could say you're being- Bubbery, thank you. I'm sorry you have to listen to this crap. You have every right to be upset and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Thank you. Liz Ann, I'm 30 years old and all of this disgusts me. He has a terrible outlook on this and never should have posted this. You'll have every right to explode over this. Thank you, Liz Ann. Ardia, yeah, me too. Being too charitable, Papa God. No, I'm not. I'm not being too charitable. I don't care about Miranda Sings. She means nothing to me. So why have you done a 24 hour video or 24 minute long video in which you've opened it with nobody cares about me. I should just be handling this, that I'm obsessed with her, that anyone who speaks out against their abuser is in love with them. Anytime you call her out for something, it immediately will circle back to something I've done wrong. Answer me that. But again, this is the man that, that, on quote, said there's nothing inherently wrong with grooming unless it's online. So. 
I wouldn't be talking about this topic Stop unless speaking on my mother with a grooming allegation or a grooming narrative because I think that that is toxic to the public hive mind. And, and your video is a fucking toxic mess too. How you can't, how you like, are like, what's going on right now is so toxic and can't acknowledge what you're doing? This conversation. I don't care about Colleen. As far as I'm concerned, she's an irrelevant loser. I don't give a shit about her. I tend to like Adam. He seems like a nice guy. So this, ladies and gentle vays, is what happens when someone has made a 25 minute long video discrediting them and they know that they're going to get backlash. So they throw in a little, you know, I'm impartial. I don't like Colleen. I actually kind of like Adam. That doesn't discredit the entire video you've just made. Doesn't work like that. Does not work like that. Does not work like that. But this isn't about some kind of biased perspective where I love- This isn't about a biased perspective. All right, okay. I love Colleen so much. I want her career to continue. This literally has everything to do with a false grooming allegation. Not false. That is my primary perspective here. And it's shit. And I think that that needs to be handled with the delicacy it deserves. This needs to be handled with the delicacy and this shit video is- this video is delicacy? Because that is a intense accusation. That being said- It is an intense accusation and that's why people are so heated on social media right now. Bonk. Said, Miranda feeling like she's put into some kind of a situation, reaches out, I'm assuming maybe to more people, but specifically to Cody to give a little bit more context, which was the last bit of her interaction between her and Adam. Now it's quite possible that she was reaching out to people to make a response for- Aaron said, in my opinion, if Colleen was a man, he'd have an entirely different take. I promise you, if Colleen was a gay man, Papa Gott would be running him off the internet right now. That's why Papa Gott keeps referring to me as, you know, the beauty guru in the tea community. It's all about, it's all about putting that connotation with you. And I'm seeing everyone chat say that anyway, but- For her, because she didn't feel like she could make the response. You could consider that manipulative, but this doesn't make it grooming. This is but you just said she wasn't manipulative. You said she wasn't manipulative so many times in this video. And I'm sure by the end of this video, you'll say she isn't manipulative again. Probably the only potentially manipulative thing that she does in this situation. I think it's cowardly, but that doesn't make- Oh, so it's not manipulative now. It's cowardly is what it is. Okay, sorry, y'all. It's not manipulative. It's cowardly. Okay. It's, it's, it's cowardly. It's not manipulative. So- she hasn't done anything wrong. It was, if anything, she's just a coward is basically what he's saying. Here's some kind of a groomer. To be honest with you, she probably feels like she was put in a situation where she couldn't talk about it and she gets upset. Thankful. So then why did she send my messages to Cody after saying she wasn't going to speak out of my mother's respect? And then Cody says, but I'm going to make a hit piece on him. And then Colleen decides to speak to Cody. Nothing you're saying adds up here. You, you've literally within the last five minutes said you were going to describe what happened with Cody and you haven't yet. You've just circled around. Aaron, thank you. His entire video is gaslighting. I'm a survivor of grooming. Sorry. Um, I was 15 and he was a teacher and I know gaslighting when I see it. I'm so sorry you're dealing with this. I'm so sorry, Aaron, that that happened to you. Um, Inklet, Adam, go off. Put this towards your fur babies. I'm sorry you have to bring it up. Thank you so much. A weird video. Hopefully she finally does respond to it, but- Yeah, sorry, I forgot that, that he was, you know, it was just silly of her to do all this. No that she was just venting in in some kind of a they read what's being said this is how the timeline goes right in the fallout between adam oh, fuck, and colin is a representation of the oh no we're screaming okay he's catching up to me cody is a primary problem in this situation cody is a representation of the hate and vitriol that was rained down upon adam for the past three years cody is the primary problem and if you aren't going to take accountability for you supporting cody's narrative unintelligently and ignorantly are you speaking to colleen here because it was colleen who did that it was colleen who decided to leak my conversations to cody after knowing that cody was deranged so are you speaking to me? Are you speaking to the public? Or are you speaking to Colleen? Because it was Colleen that decided to have those private conversations with Cody, not us. For the past three years, based on her hit piece on Adam, at the very least, instead of blaming Miranda, blame Cody. Because, because again, there's no criticism that can ever be given to Colleen. 
I don't know if you can, Papa Gut, because clearly you haven't done research in this video, but most people can multitask and we can call both of them out at the same time. They were both actively scheming for that video. Cody was going to make it and Colleen sent the evidence. Because she's the shitty person. But frankly, there's a bit of blame for all of you who, again, were eating up Cody's narrative for the past three years. There's blame for all of you. Because while I didn't see Cody's video because I, it's impossible. There's blame for all of us? How the fuck's there blame for all of us? Please. Well, see, I guarantee you, based on the way that you guys seem to interact with social situations and social Please. narratives, you probably massively, disproportionately shit on a young man a boy at the time. So what's your video? What's your video? You're saying that we're you're all responsible for shitting on him. What's your video in 2023 doing then? Hi Shelby, Adam I was therapy reacting to a grimmer apologist like this can be incredibly painful, devastating. He doesn't know anything. You do know what happened. Please take care. Thank you so much, Shelby. Um it's gonna be an interesting journey. Um I'm nervous about it, but it's going to be interesting. Just expressing a frustration you, because he was in an inappropriate parasocial friendship with a large content creator that he loved a lot. And it ended because she's kind of a bitch. And that's really what happened here. And you guys took it and you ran with it and you shit on this poor kid for three years and you put him into a situation where now he has so many emotions surrounding how uh, this whole entire topic. They did that? What about this video you've just posted? Bringing my- blaming my parents? Blaming me? Saying that no one's on my- Are you not able to see the hypocrisy here? You are not on my side. And you saying, I actually do like Adam and I don't like Colleen. Does nothing here. You're the one that's doing this. Not them. You're doing it. They find out the information and change their opinion. You find out the information and decided to go back to 2020. That he's spiraling out of control, and when this entire- ah! Go fuck yourself. You know what? I hope every single person that is a client of your wife sees how you speak about victims when their stories get revealed and they have to speak about it. That they spiral out of control. I hope all your wife's clients see that and see that both you and her clearly do not care about the victims. Clearly do not care about the victims. How fucking dare you? Of course I'm, I could be perceived as spiraling whenever dipshits like this are making videos. Thing ends, he's not gonna feel good. He's gonna continue to feel shitty and I- Because of this video. Because of this video. Isolated because none of you are actually his friends. You're all- So why are you like, but I do like Adam. None of them are saying that. You're saying that. Tunistic individuals who are just trying to latch yourself onto the situation and come off as some kind of a moral, virtuous, righteous, good guy because now you're on the right side. Sorry I made this horrible mistake that mentally distressed you for the past three years. I'll make up for it. This video is confusing. Oh my god, Kara. Hi, Kara. By saying it's grooming. Thank you, Kara. No problem, Adam. That's not how things work. That's not and how friendships you, work. And that's... Wait. Wait, Inklet, at this point, your age is so obvious, not a question. I don't know why they're... Yeah. Amandi Candy. What a cute name. 38-year-old mom here. I'm proud of you, Adam. My son is seven and loves YouTube, and this is his favorite. I'll be monitoring closely. Thank you. He... Hold on. I'll make up for it by saying it's grooming. No problem, Adam. That's not how things work. That's not how friendships work. And that's not how mental health works. Over-validating somebody's feelings, I know that sounds harsh, is... What the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong with you? No, I'm not responding to Papa Gut after this. And he's going to make his videos. I mean, he's already made a couple videos on this. I'm not responding to him after this. I just wanted to highlight the fucking pieces of shit online like this. It's destructive, just as destructive as under validating their feelings. So what? I'm being destructive now? Okay. There needs to be a proportionate response where you meet the person where they are and you just help them explore the situation. You don't. Is that what you're doing here? I want to overstated it absolutely is a thing that you have a profound impact on the way that somebody will interact with a particular topic based on your response and you need to meet the person at where they are at you can't yeah, just people are over validating me is what he said they're over validating me uh-huh they're over validating me is what it's what is happening i wonder if your wife says that to their clients if they ever feel validation and people believing their story you're being too over validating them
over-validated. It will be destructive to their mental health. Again, just as destructive as under-validation, which is why you guys should shut the fuck up about the grooming narrative. You should shut the fuck up. And I'm putting Adam aside here, talking about the- How are you putting Adam aside? How are you putting Adam aside? How are you putting Adam aside? How? How are you putting Adam aside? Lisa, I'm hopping in and out because it's triggering for me. It was easier watching Ryan Bird's take on it. I know, I, I just wanted to hear it from him. Don't let the stupidity get to you. Caitlin, so sorry about this. This is an awful take by Papa. I'm a... Who wasn't believed? I feel so alone. Therapy is a great thing. I'm sorry, Caitlin. The rest of you idiots, and recommend he sees a we're the idiots therapist so that he can help he can help him move through these. All right, Papa God, let me say something, D. I am in therapy now. That doesn't mean I have to shut the fuck up about this. Is that something your wife says? If you're in therapy, never speak about it again. Is that what happens? Is that what happens? Yeah, I'll take low blows with your wife because you brought my fucking parents into this. Feelings in a productive way that isn't going to be destructive to his mental health. Moving on in the next five. He's blaming all of you for being destructive to my mental health after he made this video. I have to tend you. We're the idiots. Yeah, Gina and Colleen's the silly goose. Cheers. You guys don't have a primary focus of Adam. Your primary focus is- Neither do you. Neither do you. And you do not care about victims. And very clearly, your wife doesn't either. How you feel about the situation. Primary focus is Adam. He's the true victim in this situation. But you said at the start that that wasn't the case. You said at the start that wasn't the case. Most of the people who are now over-validating him were the one- uh -huh. That is the second time he has said that people are over-validating me. Were they over-validating Colleen in 2020 as well then? Shannon, hi. I'm a 45-year-old mother and I'm horrified by Colleen and this man's opinions of what you've been through. Proud of you. Thank you. Over-validating over me. Setting him up for a cyclone of emotions. I think it's disgusting. You think it's disgusting that they are setting me up for a cyclone of emotions and you're not holding any responsibility in that? That you've already made six hours, six hours and 30 minutes. What else have you done? Six hours, 30 minutes. Okay, sorry. Seven. So it would have been what? Eight hours. You've made eight hours of content on this so far. You've made longer than I have on this. Papa Gut, you've made more content longer on Colleen. Okay. Oh, sorry. There's more. So like eight and a half hours of content you've made on this, but yet other people are the ones that are over-validating or under-validating me. You've made nearly nine hours of content on this. Nine hours of content on this. I think it's pathetic. And if you're going to call anything predatory, that's what that would be. It's not. So what? The people that are over-validating me are the predators? Is that what it is? Is that what it is? Y'all are the predators, Nai. Y'all are the predators. But certainly more predatory than anything Colleen did. Okay, so you're more predatory than anything I said Colleen did. Ye. Is this take. Anyway. Moving forward from Colleen reaching out to Cody and Cody spiraling and going fucking ballistic and deciding to make a hit piece. Let's get what's this then get into some of the specifics of how their relationship was inappropriate, as well as some of the other situations that Adam claims were just manipulation. Despite Adam claims Fuck yourself. the fact that he does give us full context to explain that it's not one of those things is his hold on Adam claims are manipulation, but then gives full context to show that they're not. Fuck off. Fuck off. Conversations with her about their divorce. A lot of people use very loaded terms like this is some kind of trauma dumping or love bombing. Oh, so, oh, 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 so it's not even trauma dumping or love bombing anymore. So what is it? What is it? It's none of them? It's not. From everything he okay, showed us, it's incredibly catty, inappropriate shit behavior from him. Okay, so it's just inappropriate, but it's not love bombing or trauma or trauma bonding. So basically, or trauma dumping, sorry. So anything I've said, any titles I've put on this, basically Papa got disagrees with. And I'm sure if I hadn't have said the titles, he probably would agree that they are those things. You're so different. You're so different, Papa Gut. You're so different. And by the way, over-validating is not a thing. 
mature fucking loser that is Colleen Ballinger. But it is not some kind of trauma bonding or whatever other you know buzzword that you want to use that actually buzzwords. Those That's what you're diminishing this all to. You're diminishing this all to buzzwords. Words and especially Fuck off. that diminishes those words. <clears throat> But it is certainly inappropriate. In fact, when the parents found out about this, they opted not to break off the relationship between the two, but to walk. Hey! Hey! You're lying! You're lying! You're lying! How the fuck can the parents know about the situation when they're not being told about it? Hey! Watch more closely, which I think is perfectly fine. But this does display that Colleen has boundary issues. Again, when it comes to the sending of the lingerie, that's another thing that the parents looked at as very bizarre, and they became more skeptical. And we know this because Adam tells us all about this. But again, they didn't discontinue the relationship. Now, of course, they don't have to discontinue the relationship. That's whenever they got involved in it, dipshit. But again, if you're not going to provide that, then fine. Relationship, and I'm not placing the blame on them, but what I'm trying- You just did! to get you to understand. How the fuck is everything mine and my parents' fault, but nothing has to do with the 30, what, like 37-year-old Colleen Ballinger? Dan, is while you're telling us that Colleen, who is comfortable doing these things, is a predator, if you have that narrative, then you have to think that the parents were okay with their kid getting groomed. No. Oh, go. Fuck ye. Fuck ye. ye oh, my God. He just said that, oh, so that implies his parents were fine with him getting grimmed. Your wife deals with people that get grimmed? Fucking hell, I feel bad for her clients. I feel bad for her clients. And may they see this video. May they see this video because you publicly posted it. Holy fuck, it's mine and my parents' fault for grimming. But yeah, didn't you say that she didn't grim? So, Papa God, let me phrase something for you. You just said that this isn't grimming. So, if you think it's not grimming, then why would you think that my parents would think it was grimming? If you said it's not grimming, so how would my parents step in to stop the grimming if you are openly acknowledging that there was no grimming happening? So why are you giving my parents one set of rules and you another? You've just said that this wasn't grimming. So why are you saying his parents didn't stop Colleen grimming him? You said that she didn't grim me. So how would my parents stop the grimming if in what you just said a couple minutes ago, I was not grimmed? Why can you not stick with a narrative? Why can you not stick with a narrative? And I know he goes on and says, oh, no, that's not the case. He just said it. He just said it. He said it. It's insane. He it's said it. It's inappropriate boundary crossing. So why would you bring it up? So why would you bring it up? Why are you like, that's why, that's like then saying, you know, his parents were okay with him getting grimmed. You're the one that said that. No one else is saying that. Absolutely. And if it was my kid, what I know now, I would have disconnected my kid but you said it wasn't inappropriate. You said that she was just a manipulative person, but it wasn't inappropriate. From Colleen, even if my kid was upset, because that's what parents do. Kids will be a- But you said that it wasn't grimming, it wasn't manipulative, and we were just friends. So then, why wouldn't that logic apply if it was your kid? You know, there wouldn't be a problem with it from your logic, right? Sad. However, they're not bad parents. They're just trying to navigate a situation. So it. why has it been now two times in this video that you've brought up what people might say about my parents? Because you're the only one I've heard say it. So why are you bringing up what people might say about my parents? Because you're the only one that's been saying it. Do you know saying things and then being like, oh, but people might say that. It doesn't take away from the fact that you're saying them. Their son likes a content creator a lot, and they realize that despite the fact that she's not predatory, she clearly has pretty deep boundary issues, and that is a problem. Yeah, anyway, she just has when it gets issues. to them meeting up with each other or having interactions in that capacity, there's a lot of narratives from Adam that there was never any type of intention for Colleen to ever... There's a lot of narratives from Adam. There's been one narrative. There's been one narrative. There has been one narrative. I don't know why he's trying so hard to discredit me. There has been one narrative. Give him real attention. One of those is when he meets up with her 
um, in some capacity because they're supposed to go to some kind of museum, a uh, wax museum, I believe, and have lunch. Colleen, before that happens, changes it from a wax museum to just the lunch, and that makes sense to me. She was on tour. She's probably tired. It really isn't that deep. Anyway, when Adam gets there, they only hang up for five minutes. Okay. And this is meant to display to us that she never had any intention of giving him any attention. However, Adam also shows us the text messages. And in those text messages, there is an exchange of, Adam, where are you? Which implies that Adam was incredibly late to the meetup. No, we were supposed to meet. Here's another example of him not doing any research. We were supposed to meet up at the Wax Museum at the time that I was going to be arriving in. And she went early to lunch, canceling the Waxwork Museum. So I was not late to the fucking lunch because the lunch was supposed to be in Ayer's time, nor was I late to the Waxwork Museum because the time we were supposed to meet at the Waxwork Museum, whenever I was on my way to Dublin, was pushed forward and she went to the restaurant without me. So have you done any research? Have you done any research at all? So she did that while I was already on my way and then used that to leave me abandoned in Dublin at 15 alone. Which just makes sense as to why they didn't hang out for too long. There's also a bit of discourse about how, she, I guess, she was he was four hours away from home. And I guess. There's a little bit of discord. I guess, I guess, I guess. Don't tell the story if you're going to diminish it in these ways. Only just left him there at some burger place, which my understanding was actually in the hotel. But they were trying to make it Wasn't seem like in the Adam hotel. is put in some kind of a situation of danger. What the fuck? He's just lying. He's nice saying that we were getting lunch at, at our hotel. So Colleen Ballinger was in my hotel? How the fuck has he done so little research and yet so brave? And yet so brave. So he's saying, I didn't get abandoned because we actually got lunch at my hotel. But if you watched the video, I said that no, we got lunch at the Bunsen Burger beside her hotel and my hotel was where my parents were checking in. How are you just actually lying? He's just lying. Ginger. Um, I think that it's okay. Uh, I don't. I mean, considering they went four hours away from their house to get there, I imagine that Colleen would think that their parents were somewhat close by. She had to go. I'm assuming to some kind of a meeting for work. Adam B. Hey, we were supposed to hang out for a while after that, and you're also saying that we were having lunch at our hotel, so she didn't abandon me. That's literally not what happened at all. Like you're flat out lying here. Did you watch the video? Being stuck in either a hotel lobby or a Burger King. Oh my god, you're lying! I was left on the streets of Dublin! I was left on the streets of Dublin. So now I was left in my hotel. So I wasn't abandoned because I was left in my hotel. Which is absolutely not the story whatsoever. It's not the story whatsoever. How are you discrediting my story and saying people are taking it out of context when you're not even telling the story correctly? Isn't going to cause harm to him until his parents pick them up. In fact, that's probably better than just leaving somebody in a back alley. And oh my God, you're so stupid. Oh my God, you're so stupid. He just said, you know, her leaving him where he did or her leaving Adam where he did, where she did in the hotel was, you know, a lot better than her just leaving him in a back alley. Oh my god, wait till you hear what actually happened when she left me on the streets of Dublin alone. Which is literally what you just said is the worst case scenario to happen. You dipshit. You dipshit. You've literally just said that she didn't do the worst case scenario. But she did do the worst case scenario. I know people, again, are loading that, but at the end of the day, all of that makes sense. Colleen had to go. Adam. Okay, wait, 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 wait. He's not even clarifying that? He's like just like flat out lying there? So Colleen didn't leave me on the streets of Dublin. You know, she left me in her hotel, which would be even weirder. Because I'm not there. It would be, you know, she, at least she didn't leave him in a back alley. She left me on the streets of Dublin alone. Adam knew she didn't have much time. Uh, and the parents were at some kind of a hotel. Adam knew she didn't have much time? We were supposed to be hanging out for like an hour. Oh, close by. Thankfully, the mother didn't leave at all, but I think that's because she knew it wasn't going to last long, considering the text message discourse. So then why are you saying that my parents weren't stepping in and weren't doing anything, but here are acknowledging now that the reason my mom stayed was because she didn't trust 
but wanted my day to still be good. So both can't be true at the same time, yet again. Suggested that they were very late. Okay. <clears throat> now. We weren't late, and if you had done the research, like knowing the research about the burger place, you would have probably have a different opinion of this. There's also something around, I believe it was a, he was supposed to be one of the two fans that were picked oh to God. do some kind of a meetup with Coley. And I believe she even went as far to say that she would pick him. However, my understanding for what he's- Hello? She, I think from my understanding, she went as far as saying she would pick him. No, she said she was going to rig the competition for me and my brother to win. And then whenever I didn't do something for her in time, she chose two other people. Said, after diving into this for six hours, was that he was busy with school and couldn't go. Oh my god! 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 He's lying! If you've watched my- Oh my god, he's lying! How are you discrediting me and lying? He just said- Oh my god! He just said that it wasn't Colleen's fault for not flying me out to VidCon and lying to me because actually, I was too busy with school. He has just mixed up the conversation that I had with her when she told me she was coming to Dublin with this one. The story he's talking about is whenever she said, I'm coming to Dublin June 7th. And I said, oh my God, I have an exam. I won't be able to go. And she messages and says, oh no, you know, try to get your parents to not take you to the exam. Then I end up going to the show. The VidCon thing was months before that. He's just lying. He has just mixed up two stories to try discredit me. And then he's like, I've done so much research. I've watched six hours after diving deep and deep and deep. The two stories you've just told have been flat out proven lies. Oh, you've pissed me off, Papa God. You have pissed me off. You're now just like flat out lying. How the fuck have you watched so long of this video? And how have you made nine hours of content on this and yet you still don't know the truth of the situation? I don't get it. I really don't get it. That explains it pretty well. How does that explain it pretty well? You've just said a re you've mixed up two stories to get her out of something. You have just not told the truth. You have not told the truth of that story. There was also supposed to be a follow-up with three fans, but it seemed that Colleen expressed to Adam that it was too- He has done no research! Oh my god, he's mixing stories up to discredit me! He is mixing stories up to discredit me! Oh my god! Time and place! Expensive in general, which makes sense. Just because you're- It makes sense? How does it make sense whenever you've just mixed up two fucking stories? Some kind of micro celebrity doesn't mean that you make millions of dollars a year. That's why it's a micro celebrity. Aaron said, how have you done nine hours of content on this and yet you have like 3% understanding? Because he doesn't care about it. Celebrity. Um, Coley probably isn't massively rich, though I imagine she's successful. And at the time, she probably was. Colleen Ballinger isn't rich? Okay, now we're just. Less successful than she is now. Continue, we have the situation with the merch. Uh, the way that Adam talks about the merch is as if that this was going to be some kind of repayment for Colleen and from his perspective, telling him to go and interact with different articles and different news people, like all this other bullshit. I'm so glad spheres. this is almost done. Now, I will say that it seems inappropriate for her to direct him in those places. Absolutely, again, doesn't suggest any kind of grooming. And she seems to flake and not wear the merch where she said that she would because Adam says that he will bring it to her publicly, though it's not explicitly stated that Adam actually brought the merch to her. That was the exchange. Well, how the fuck do you think she got it then? How the fuck do you think she got it? How the fuck do you think she got it? No, you're just lying. You're lying yet again. If you want some merch, oh, I'll make you something. You know, can you make me something custom, et cetera, et cetera. It's not good behavior. Um, lastly, there was supposed to be some form of shout out uh, and Adam admits in some capacity. Yeah, Papa got being like Adam's story changed in the multiple narratives, yet he's mixing stories together. That he wasn't very active in her community at the time and that's why he didn't get a shout out. At the end of the day. Oh my God. Oh my God. Anything she does, there's a but, or at the end of the day, or in her defense, or in fairness. How the fuck is this not a unbiased video, as you claim? This is clearly a situation what where 
Colleen is acting inappropriately, but there is online but, hysteria. But there is. Of course, there's a but. Area that doesn't know how to separate inappropriate behavior from some form of predatory behavior. Even if you shut think the that fuck Colleen up, is a manipulative person. Again, we need to understand and state. If you think Colleen's a, a manipulative person, we have to understand. We have to understand this. We have to talk about this. We have to talk about what has she got on you? What has she got on you? That there is a difference between getting into a relationship with somebody. He has done no research on this. I'm going to comment on his video after this and be like, what the fuck is this? Why have you done no research? Explicitly to ma manipulate them and to guide them in a particular direction versus being friends with somebody or being interactive with fans and having them do favors in a way that you might perceive as manipulative. But even in that case, even if she did just become friends with Adam to send him in the direction of, hey, go interact with- Look at the way he's talking. Keep in mind, this is someone who says he likes Adam. He, whenever he talks about it, he goes, and then Adam said he was going to do this. He's changing his tone to make fun of me. Drama resource or go get me content from here. Look, ha, ha, ha. That still, in my opinion, is an inaccurate label of grooming. Inaccurate? If anything's inaccurate, it's this video. If anything is inaccurate, it's this video. But Papa Gut, make sure to go on and make another stream. Let's let's hope to hit 10 hours. Come on, Papa Gut. Let's hope to hit 10 hours of content that you've made on this night. Let's let's hope we've 10 hours of this, and yet you can't even get the fucking story straight. Let's hope for 10 hours. We only have like 30 more minutes to go. That's not deeply predatory behavior. It's shitty behavior. Of course it's but not. But the word grooming is so incredibly charged, and it's insane that there even needs to be discourse about using words that absolutely are rape adjacent because that's what the energy of that word is being used. By you, by you, not by us, by you. It's crazy that we have to have discourse to just be like, hey, don't say that. If again, if you guys were just saying, hey, I think that she's manipulative, I don't care. Aaron said, there's no way this video could even be accurate because it contradicts itself way too much. Even if one side of what he's saying was right, the other half of it isn't. If you say, hey, I think that she used Adam in some capacity. Okay, that's fine. But grooming Ugh. is the way that it's being applied here is socially destructive. Oh, I'm sure. And it's fucking insane. What's fucking insane and it, and it's, is you. It's just, it, it, <laughs> I guess it triggers me. Adam is some... It triggers you? It triggers you? Buddy who was wronged by Colleen and was able to let it go after the situation happened. Adam wasn't because the same people who are making these videos in support of Adam now are the same people who shit on him because they never looked at him as a person. Yeah, and you're the one shitting on me now. So good job, Papa Gut. Good job. Piece of shit. Whew. What a terrible video. Oh my god, Caroline. Caroline, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Jesus. Hi, Adam. Just wanted to say I love watching your videos. It puts a smile on my face. Thank you so much, Jesus. You don't need to do that. Thank you. Jesus. Angelina. Hey, Adam. Do you think Colleen or someone on our team reached out to him to make a video? No one is reaching out to Papa Gut to make a video. Um... All right. Well, I wanted to watch this on here because I wasn't going to watch this on my own and go crazy on my own. Um, shitty video. And whenever I finish this, I'm going to go over and comment and be like, wow, what a terrible video where you can't even get your facts right. Um, I'm going to head off and decompress. I'm going to play some Sims and I will talk to you all very soon. Um, make sure to go over and follow me on Twitch if you want. Cause I might go live on Twitch tonight. I do not know. I will link it down below, but anyway, boo. All right. Thank you all for being here. And yes.